Good afternoon. This is Anne Anderson uh, coming to you to give you what is becoming a regular update on my lectures and new resources on my web pages. Around this time of the year, autumn, I would normally be planning a tour to Nancy uh, with uh, travel editions. But for a whole variety of reasons, I'm afraid, of course, this year uh, that tour is off. So to make up for it, because uh, many of my clients were disappointed that we could not go, I'm proposing to give a series of lectures on the École de Nancy. This is one of my favourite topics because I often imagine that I might become a true Nancyenne uh, sitting in the beautiful Place Stanislas in the heart of the city, sipping a cup of coffee or something slightly stronger. Hopefully, uh, these three lectures will give you a better idea about the School of Nancy or École de Nancy. I have already covered the architecture of Nancy in a previous lecture and, of course, in my book on Art Nouveau architecture, of which I'm immensely proud. But this series of three lectures is a little different, as I'll be concentrating on the decorative arts. We kick off with a lecture on Émile Gallet, who's considered to be the father of the school or École de Nancy, which transformed the decorative arts scene in France around 1900. This first lecture will be delivered on the 13th of October 2021, on a Wednesday at 11 and then repeated again at 7 o'clock. Of course, Gallet is particularly well known for his glass, but this lecture will also look at his lesser known ceramics, which are often rather humorous or political, as he was a patriot following the disastrous Franco-Prussian War, which annexed a large portion of Alsace and Lorraine uh, to Germany. We'll also consider his furniture, and I hope to place him in context, explaining his relationship to other artists and collaborators within the École de Nancy. The second lecture, which will go out on the 20th of October, also a Wednesday, at 11, and again repeated at 7, and will, will be on the uh, Dorm Frères, the Dorm Brothers, who uh, transformed their glassworks into a leading arts manufacturing. They were also great collaborators with Jacques Roubert for stained glass and Almeric Walter for Pat de Verre. If you've been to visit Nancy, you'll have seen the windows by Jacques Roubert in the Chamber of Commerce, the fantastic seagulls and roses window in the Maison Bergeret, or even the truly stupendous ceiling of the Credit Lyonnais. Then finally, the third lecture in the series, given not on a Wednesday, but a Thursday, 28th of October, at 11 and again repeated at 7, will not only look at the furniture and metalwork of Louis Marjorel, but also at his amazing villa, the Villa Marjorel or the Villa Gica. This has been shut for the best part of two years and reopened in spring 2021. I'm dying to see it, to see what restoration has been achieved, trying to transform the Villa Marjorel back into something of its former glory. So those are the three lectures on the leading players in the École de Nancy on the 13th of October, Emile Gallet, on the 20th Dome Frères, and finally on the 28th of October on Louis Marjorel. The times, I will repeat, at 11 and then 7, and that will be British Summertime, or BST. Hopefully these uh, lectures will inspire you to visit Nancy and all very being well, Travel Editions tours will run next year. So uh, Scott is hoping to take tours to Nancy in March of next year and in April of next year. And if I'm really lucky, I'll take my tour in October of next year. So keep your fingers crossed uh, for both of us. As well as my lectures that are delivered by Zoom, I am also posting lots of new blogs on my website. You will find a blog about the arts and crafts movement in Chipping Camden. 
as I'm particularly interested in the arts and crafts in the Cotswolds. This will give you a good idea of what you'll be able to see if you self-guide around the village of Chipping Camden. You'll find this alongside other blogs, not just on Nancy, but also on Art Nouveau in Budapest and in Riga. Finally, if you do subscribe to my newsletter, you'll find an update about our recent walk of Chelsea, the buildings and blue plaques that we saw and how we really enjoy viewing the magnificent windows in Trinity Sloan Square. So if you want to stay in touch, please contact me directly, anne.anderson99 at talk21.com and I can add you to my subscription list for my newsletter. You can also get in contact with me directly through my website, anne-anderson.com. So please just do stay in touch and hopefully during the winter months I'll keep you going with new talks and new blogs about some of my favourite Art Nouveau and arts and crafts places. Thank you very much for listening.